So looking at my tub block here, what I can do is come in here and I can actually change the length and I can come in here and I can change the width and that's all great. But if I was to go and order this, I wouldn't have this many different options. I wouldn't be able to you know, pick this length and this width to be a little bit more um, you know, set, you know, that with this width has to come with this length. So let's just undo that. And what I'm going to do is let's go into the block editor. And in this case, what I did is I parametrically defined everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tub here width and my tub length, and I'm actually going to change this so that they don't actually show up. So I'm going to change this to zero grips because I don't want to change it um, in that particular fashion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my block table function here. And what it's going to ask me for is an insertion point. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert it on the, on the drain here. And I'm going to say there's going to be one grip. Now what I can do is I can basically define the table. So what I can do is come in here and say, okay, I'm going to add the properties that show up. I want table, tub length, tub width, and I also want this D1 value. So I'm going to click OK. And what it's done, it's gone through and added this to the list. So now what I'm going to do is come in here and say, okay, the first value here is going to be 60. And the tub width in this case, I'm just looking what it currently is, is going to be 36. I mean, that's, that's the options. And my D1 value here is going to be 4. So what I've done now is I've gone through and I've set that as the first value in there. Now what I'm going to do is go to the next one here and say, okay, we're still going to have a 60 width or length here. But we're also going to have an option for 30 as the width. And I'm going to take this D1 value and actually make it 3.75. Let's come in here and let's add a tub width. Let's try 66. I'm going to tab over here. And notice that it doesn't fit because what I did is on the tub length, it actually um, goes in increments of 12. So when I close this, what it's going to do, it's going to round it the closest size. So since I'm going in increments of 12, let's go 72. And the width here is actually going to be 45 is what it's going to be. And we're going to increase the size of D1 to 6. So we'll do it again here. We're going to have a, a 72 length version. Um, this time it's going to be 54.5. And the D value here is going to stay at 6. So that's actually going to make it 6.5. Okay, so we put it in there. Um, we can come in here now and I could actually say it must match a row in the table and actually set default values. So if somebody went in there and tried overriding the values, um, it would force it to a particular size. But I'm going to click OK to that. We can now see the grip that it's added. I can move that grip because that's not where I wanted it. I'm going to go out and test this block now. So now when I come in here and pick it, notice that there's no longer grips for the length and the width. And I'm going to go to the drop down here and I'm going to say, well, I'd really like to go into the 60 um, inch version and I'd really like to make this 30 inches. So we can see that, you know, the width got slightly different um, and actually changed that. Let's go into the 72 inch version. Let's pick 45 and we can see that it did get wider and it did get longer. I can come in here now. Let's go into here. Let's pick the 54.5 and we can see it's updated. Now, I do have a problem here that my drain is not um, adjusting in position. I would need to go through there and add another parameter to make sure that stays in the middle. Um, but I can see that my table is functioning the way I wanted it to. So if I come in here, I can also do it by a properties table and say this is the version I wanted. I'm going to click OK, and we can see how that set that. So let's actually close the test block function, and let's, let's go back in here and see what else we can do. So by, by taking this, um, let's write, actually, let's just go back into our block table. Um, what I can do is I can right click on here and notice I can sort this. I can actually maximize um, the, the data cells to, so I can, you know, kind of summarize what's in here. Um, but I can change that value in there. So I can come in here and I can sort based on that column. I can come in here and sort based on that column. So there are some right click options in there as well. So let's just click OK to, to change that. Now, to kind of fix this, what I would do is I would add another dimension. So what I would do is take this, well, we'll snap to the middle there, we'll snap to the middle there. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to make this be the tub width divided by 2, and that should position that right in the middle. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to set the properties and the to no and the number of grips to 0 so it doesn't show up in my block. Um, but that should take that and make sure that's always in the middle. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to my parameters here and I'm actually going to drop in the um, base point. 
um, because what I want is I want my insertion point to actually be at that location. I can see it was kind of off the screen a little bit. So now what I could do is I actually have an object that I can move around and actually set the position where I want that insertion point to be. Okay, well, let's go out. Let's actually use this. So let's save the changes. Let's go in there now. Notice that my insertion point is now in a better location. Then I'm going to go to the drop down here and let's go into 60, 30 inch version. Oh, and it looks like I'm missing a constraint. We'll go into the 72 inch version. We'll go to 54 and notice how that's updated. Okay, well, real quick here, we'll just go back into the block editor. Let's add a concentric constraint because I want this circle and this circle to be concentric. We'll close the block header. We'll save our changes. And now we can see everything's in the right location. So now I'll come in here. Let's take this to the 60 inch version, 30 inches, and we can see it's updated. So I can see that there's some other things I would need to do here. Um, I can see my radiuses aren't staying the same. Um, so I got a little more fine tuning, but that gives you the, the idea of how we can use our parameters and actually build a table so that certain values always go together and kind of drive the, the user of the block into making the right um, selections.